Once you have completed installation, it is now time to begin configuration of the Bacharach Multi-Zone Halogen Gas Monitor. Begin by plugging the monitor in to a 100 to 240 volt AC power supply. The display will power on and the green light labeled on will blink for approximately 15 minutes until the warm-up cycle is complete. After the warm-up cycle, the green on light will glow steadily and the monitor will display the data display screen. Now we will navigate to the first setup screen. To navigate to the first setup screen, use the keypad to highlight the status box and press enter. You should now be at the setup screen. You will now begin the walkthrough of the system setup options. To access the system setup screen, use the keypad to highlight the system box and press enter. Let's take a look at the components on the system setup screen. Use the location tab to identify the monitor's location using up to 12 alphanumeric characters. The location can be edited by pressing enter and then using the up and down arrows to edit the characters. When you have finished entering the name, press the enter key again to lock it in. The location name can be edited at any time. The Number of Zones Installed tab should indicate the number of manifolds connected to the side of the monitor. This number can be changed by highlighting the Number of Zones Installed tab, pressing Enter, and using the up and down arrows to edit the number. If the number of manifolds you have installed is not a multiple of four, round up to the nearest multiple of four and enter this number into the box. We can correct for any unused ports later when setting the length of tubing for each port on the zone setup screen. Alarm acknowledgement mode has two options. When the auto option is selected, the monitor will automatically acknowledge any triggered alarm. Once an alarm is acknowledged, it will shut off once the PPM readings has fallen back to a safe level at the zone. When Manual is selected, alarms must be manually acknowledged before they will turn off when the PPM readings reaches a safe level. To manually acknowledge an alarm, enter the alarm screen on the main data display. Press Enter on the flashing alarm slot and then press the left arrow key to acknowledge the alarm. The next safe level PPM reading will disable the alarm. Triggered alarms can be silenced by pressing Silence and then enter on the main data display. In auto mode, the red alarm light will continue flashing until the PPM readings have fallen back to safety level. In manual mode, the red light will stay flashing until the alarm has been acknowledged and the PPM has reached a safe level. The audible alarm tab allows you to select at which contamination level an audible alarm will be triggered. The leak option indicates an audible alarm will sound when a PPM reading exceeds the preset leak level in a given zone. The spill option indicates an audible alarm will sound when a PPM reading exceeds the preset spill level in a given zone. The evac option indicates an audible alarm will sound when a PPM reading exceeds the preset evacuation level in a given zone. The monitor on option causes an audible alarm to sound only with a critical fault occurs that stops the unit from monitoring. When the unused option is selected, no audible alarm will sound. When the alarm option is selected, an audible alarm will sound anytime an alarm goes off. When the fault option is selected, an audible alarm will sound anytime a system fault occurs. The Zone Hold tab allows you to set the length of time a zone will be monitored when the Zone Hold feature is activated. Use the up and down arrows to change the time length. It can be set anywhere from 1 to 999 minutes. The Detection Limit tab allows you to set the minimum PPM reading that will be registered on the display. It can be set between 1 and 99 PPM. Any PPM reading below the designated value will be interpreted and displayed by the monitor as zero. Loop mode allows you to set the loop mode of two optional 4 to 20 milliamp outputs. In track zone mode, the device adjusts the zone and PPM outputs to correspond to the latest sampled zone number and its corresponding PPM readings, respectively. 
In highest concentration mode, the device adjusts to two current outputs to correspond to the zone number with the highest PPM reading and the value of that PPM reading, respectively. These outputs will remain corresponding to whichever zone has the highest PPM concentration reading. Press Enter twice on the Loop Mode tab to access the Loop 2 Factor tab. The Loop 2 Factor sets the PPM scale factor for current loop number 2. If you want to calculate the current output, multiply the scale factor by the current PPM reading and add 4. The ReZero Mode tab allows you to set frequency at which the device recalibrates the optical sensor. The Auto option will recalibrate the sensor every 10 minutes. The Zone Change option will recalibrate the sensor at every zone change. The Zone Change option is the most accurate setting, but it increases the time interval between measurement cycles. Next, use the keypad to scroll to the bottom right of the System Setup screen and select the More tab. This will display System Setup screen number 2. The Baud Rate tab is used to set the baud rate for the RS-485 communication port. The default baud rate is 19,200, but there are several options to choose from. The Node Address tab allows you to set the distinctive node address of that specific monitor. Each monitor on the network must have a distinctive node address, which is set from 1 to 64. The Password tab allows you to set a three-character system password for the monitor. The default password is 000, which provides no password protection for the monitor. Press the Escape button on the keypad to return to Setup screen. Enter the Zone Setup screen by highlighting the Zone tabs on the Setup screen and pressing Enter. The screen should now read Zone 1 Setup. Edit the Location tab to name the location of the specified zone. The Gas Type tab determines what gas the system will detect at a specified zone. Change the tab to the desired gas. Each zone is capable of searching for a different gas. Use the Distance tab to specify the distance of the zone from the monitor. This distance is equal to the length of the tube you measured during installation. For ports without manifolds in active solenoid connection blocks, set this distance to zero. This will cause the system to bypass these zones when cycling through the zones to take readings. Measure the air temperature in degrees Celsius at the specified zone and enter this value into the Temperature at Zone tab. The last PPM tab displays the most recent PPM reading that was taken for that zone. The Log Interval tab allows you to set how often a PPM reading will be entered in the data log for that zone. The highest PPM reading during an interval will be entered into the log. The Log Trend graph can be accessed by scrolling down to the Trend tab and pressing Enter. The graph displays the last 100 logged PPM readings for that zone. Select the More options on the first Zone Setup screen and access the second Zone Setup screen. From this screen, you can set the leak, spill, and evacuation levels for that specific zone. You can set these values to whatever level you would like. However, they must increase sequentially from leak level to spill level to evacuation level. If a single splitter was used for a specific zone, the leak, spill, and evacuation levels should be halved from their desired values in order to account for dilution of the contaminated air caused by the mixture of samples from two separate sample points. If a triple splitter was used, the leak, spill, and evacuation levels should be reduced to one-third of their desired values for the same reason. Use the Press to Reset Peak button to reset the peak PPM value displayed at the top of this screen. Use the right arrow key on the keypad to advance to the next zone, and the left arrow key to go back to the previous zone. From the first setup screen, you can access the alarm event log. This page will display a log of all of the alarm events that have occurred at each zone for the past 100 log entries. If maintenance or repair needs to be done on the monitor without turning the entire monitor off,
The system can be put into service mode for up to five hours by pressing Enter twice on the Service Mode Entry tab on the Setup screen. Press Enter twice on this tab again to take the system out of service mode. Once your zones are fully configured, you can view current PPM readings for each zone from the main data display screen. The date and time displayed by the monitor can also be edited from the main data display screen. This completes the configuration overview for the Baccarat Multi-Zone Halogen Gas Monitor. If you have further questions during the configuration process, you may consult the Baccarat Multi-Zone Gas Monitor's manual.